the 2021 model year being a new trim level which we are in today so i am happy to be in this one of course this is now the second model year that the palisade has been out so it does have a year under its belt now and of course with all hyundais you do have america's best warranty being five year 60 000 mile bumper to bumper 10 year 100 000 mile powertrain of course that in clinday now is offering three years 36 000 miles of free complimentary maintenance which is also going to save you some money so that's a big bonus too but having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with what will be a 3.8 liter direct injected v6 putting out 291 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 262 pound feet of torque available at 5200 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here for some driving modes for the palisade they will include comfort eco sport snow and smart adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity and there is also also an all-wheel drive lock button as well which I have used quite often on my Hyundai Santa Fe when it starts snowing out all of those buttons by the way are on a circular dial located just to the right of the drive buttons and by the way to actually shift whether it be putting the power by the way does also alter the digital gauge cluster so i now have a bunch of red hues a very cool looking gauge cluster now now that we have done that paddle shifter test let's go ahead and give back full control to the palisade and let's do a quick little acceleration test here and let's see how quickly the palisade is going to get us up to speed up front you will find 12.4 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13.4 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 to zero braking distance goes it actually comes in at 129 feet which is a little bit slower than a lot of the competition handling up front you will find mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars and i will say as far as the steering feel goes it is a pretty substantial delay will come with a limited and calligraphy as well and therefore that is what i am actually currently looking at right now it is displaying my current speed as well as the speed limit of any given road so it just better helps you keep your eyes on the road and again that's a safety feature new 2021 hyundai palisade finished in hyper white in case anybody was curious about the color name let's go ahead and start up front on this one because this front grille is actually going to be unique to the limited and calligraphy trim levels so it's going to look slightly different if you were to go with one of the other trim levels so i did want to mention that to start also down below you're going to get front skid plates if you were to go with the limited or calligraphy trim levels as well that is what you guys are currently looking at right now then to the sides projector style headlights coming with the se and sel trim levels led headlights with the limited and calligraphy and that of course is what we got here and you will also get unique front lighting for the calligraphy as well so it's going to be a little bit different than the other trim levels so i do want to mention that too automatic headlights come standard across the board led accent light standard as well and led daytime running lights basically to round out the front let's go ahead and make our way now to the side of the palisade so now since we are around the side here roof rails do come standard for the sel trim level and up rear privacy glass coming on all trim levels body color door handles on the se however you will get satin chrome door handles for the sel trim level and up and sel and up will also give you door handle welcome lights that is pretty cool effect at night side mirror puddle lights coming with the limited and calligraphy and that's going to be another led light feature you're going to be able to see at night not so much in the daytime right now then taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable heated side mirrors across the board with led integrated turret signals for the sel trim level and up then take a look down at the wheel setup this is probably the easiest way to spot the new calligraphy trim level and that's because 18 inch alloys come with the se and sel trim levels and then 20 inch alloys for the limited and calligraphy however those styles will differ for example this wheel design is specific to the calligraphy trim level so that is what that is going to look like and another thing i actually wanted to mention to you guys the lower trim levels of the palisade this will actually come in matte black the fender surrounds there however on the calligraphy those will be body colored so i do want to mention that as well but so then now making our way to the back there is actually a shark fin antenna up top there finished in gloss black but just below that rear spoiler with integrated brake 
brake light across the board just below that rear window wiper. Of course you have the Palisade lettering spelled out horizontally. It gives it a very high end effect there. You do have the H-Track badging found on the right side of that rear tailgate there that is referring to Hyundai's all-wheel drive system. Of course every manufacturer has to name it. Like Audi has Quattro, Mercedes-Benz has Formatic, Hyundai has H-Track in case anybody was curious about that. Rear skid plates come with the limited and calligraphy trim levels to tie in with the front skid plates of course. LED taillights coming with again the limited and calligraphy and just below it all you will get a single exhaust outlet however with dual tips and that does come standard across the board so I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. And so now since we are around back of the Palisade, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, there is a hands-free power lift gate for the limited and calligraphy trim level. So I did want to mention that there is a button on the lift gate itself, also a button on the key fob if you wanted to as well. And again, it's hands-free for the limited and calligraphy. Once opened up behind that third row, cargo capacity comes in at 18 cubic feet even. If that was not enough space behind that second row, that's going to bump it up to 45.8 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, 86.4 cubic feet. So for comparison's sake, Honda Pilot comes in at 83.9, Toyota Highlander 84.3. So it does beat out those two SUVs. So I just wanted to do that for a little comparison for you guys. But also in that cargo area, there is a 12 volt power outlet. There is some in-floor storage as well. And there is a cargo cover, which is currently in the in-floor storage, but you can take that out and use it for the cargo area if you wanted to. So that's always an option. And overall, it was super easy to fold those seats down. So definitely no issues there either for me. Making our way now to the rear legroom though that is going to come in at 31.4 inches so for reference I'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I had in that third row did want to also mention there is rear ventilation that comes standard across the board for all three rows it's actually going to be located on the roof of the Palisade and there is a reclining third row as well for a little added comfort there also third row USB charging ports for the limited and calligraphy this is especially important if you have kids in that third row because of course they want to have their tablets and smartphones charged up so that's definitely a big plus there and by the way to get to that third row it's actually just one button that you touch on the second row seat to have access to that third row if you wanted to get in that way that is because of course you can just hop in the side and then run up the center if you go with the captain's chair set up and by the way that leads me to this second row. And so you will get bench seating if you go with the SE trim level. It's gonna be optional on the SEL. However, Captain's Chairs does come standard for the SEL trim level and up. So therefore I did wanna mention that. But as far as that second row legroom goes, that comes in at 42.4 inches. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. And I gotta tell you guys, that is a ton of rear legroom, by the way. And if you wanted a little more legroom in that third row, you of course can slide that second row forward a little bit because there is a good bit of legroom in the second row. So that's another way you can make a little bit of extra space in that third row. But heated rear seats actually come with the limited and calligraphy if you wanted to spoil those rear passengers a bit, that's pretty cool ventilated rear seats that's a big one you guys coming with the limited and calligraphy a lot of times luxury automakers don't even have ventilated rear seats they have heated rear seats but not always ventilated so that's pretty cool that the palisade offers that on those two trim levels second row automatic climate control comes with the sel trim level and up meaning the second row passengers can set their own temperatures if they wanted to rear window sunshades coming with the limited and calligraphy it's going to be optional on the sel but that's especially important especially when you're taking a newborn home from the hospital we'll say that because it always feels like the sun is blinding them on the drive home so second row sunshades are a big plus for things like that usb charging ports in that second row as well and overall seats were plenty comfortable for me and again i just think it's crazy that the second row has heated and ventilated rear seats it's pretty darn cool and not to mention they have their own panoramic moonroof back there as well and i'll get more into that later in the video but it's pretty cool too but make your way now to the front seats cloth seating with the s 
E and SEL, premium Napa leather with the limited and calligraphy, six-way power driver's seat with the SE, eight-way power driver's seat with the SEL trim level and up with two-way power lumbar for that as well, by the way. Then if you were to go with the limited or calligraphy, that also adds four-way power lumbar, a leg cushion extension, an eight-way power adjustable passenger seat as well, memory settings for up to two different drivers as well up front here. That is definitely nice. And you do get heated front seats with the SEL trim level and up and ventilated front seats with the limited and calligraphy once again. So overall, again, seating was actually plenty comfortable for me. I was kind of hesitant because I didn't really know how the top part of the design, the quilted look was going to feel on my back, but it's plenty fine, honestly. So no issues with seat comfort there. Did take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping for all trim levels, leather wrapped for the SEL and up perforated leather wrapped for the calligraphy that is yet another unique feature to this particular trim level that we have today and it will come heated for the limited and calligraphy as well then making our way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your hyundai logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and the circular hold button in the middle there that is actually a remote start for this calligraphy trim level as well so you could heat up the palisade or cool it down depending on the temperature outside so you're completely comfortable when you finally get inside but to actually start this one up what i am going to do at least is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the bottom right hand corner of the gauges there and that is going to be found on the sel trim level and up in case you wanted that but once started up the gauges are going to differ depending upon the trim level that you go with i was mentioning it earlier 12.3 inch full digital gauge cluster coming with the limited and calligraphy trim level so that is currently what you guys are looking at right now it will not be a digital gauge cluster if you go with the other trim so i did want to mention that but this digital gauge cluster is definitely quite nice i will say that speedometer all the way to the left tachometer on your right and of course it's all digital you can completely customize it like i was saying earlier if you change the drive mode that is going to change the colors up there eco mode is going to give you green hue sport mode is going to give you red and of course smart mode is going to look like what is currently on the screen right there but to adjust what is on that digital gauge cluster is also steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side there that is going to take you through a bunch of different information there is your attention level system up there it tells you how attentively you are driving at any given time that's pretty cool tire pressure information what drive mode you're in and there's really just a ton of different things you can completely customize up there so yeah i completely love this digital gauge cluster. It's definitely pretty advanced, I will say that. Let's say they make your way to overall interior quality. A power sunroof comes with the limited and calligraphy. And of course, we do have that panoramic roof for the rear passengers as well. Home link controls for the SEL trim level and up. That's for up to three different garage doors. But perhaps one of my favorite features about this specific calligraphy trim level is the upscale suede-like headliner. And so the Telluride top trim has this as well. And now the calligraphy has it and I absolutely love it. You find these headliners, I know on Genesis, Hyundai's luxury brand, they're in that, but it's also in cars like McLaren, like Ferrari, Lamborghini. They have these headliners, so I love that the Palisade has it. It's a very high-end look, and it's the little things that impress me like that. But anyways, wireless phone charger comes with limited and calligraphy, as well as 64 different colors of ambient lighting. That is pretty darn cool. There is an in-car intercom system for the limited and calligraphy as well, and that's always fun to play around with, of course. Let me show you guys. Can you guys hear me in the back? I am Gold Pony. I review cars on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button and like this video for more. That was the worst pitch I've ever done in my life. I'm sorry. And so then there is also a rear seat quiet mode that comes for all trim levels. Essentially what that is, is when the kids fall asleep in the second and third rows, and you still wanna to listen to music or radio or whatever in the front, it completely blocks out the rear speakers and limits the volume in the front. So you can still hear things, but the kids are less likely to wake up in the back. So that's a pretty cool little feature there as well. And overall, when it comes to interior quality, I actually like it. I do prefer the lighter color interior in the Palisade, but having said that, I like the way Hunt Hyundai did the black interior with the black accenting just above the passenger side glove box that ties into the doors. And of course, the ambient lighting looks absolutely amazing. Hopefully you guys are able to see that decently. I tried to find the woods, so I have a little bit of shade to show that to you guys, but that is definitely pretty nice as well. Whatever this trim is around all of these buttons in front of the cup holders there, I definitely like that too. It's definitely not going to show any fingerprints 
shades like a lot of other gloss black trim does in other manufacturers and I feel like it's not going to scratch easy as well. It's definitely very nice. But so anyways in the middle of it all you will find two cup holders which by the way can be pushed kind of to the side if you just wanted to use that for storage. That's a pretty cool little setup there. To the left of that you got that wireless phone charger again just for the limited and calligraphy. One of the cool things I found on the Palisade here is just underneath of all of that you do have some ambient lighting but you also have a good bit of storage for maybe a purse or something you kind of wanted to put out of the way so people are less likely to see. There's actually a 12 volt power outlet and USB charging port down underneath there as well. So I was kind of surprised, kind of nice to see that there. And of course, underneath that center armrest, you have a decent amount of storage there. Yet another 12 volt power outlet and USB charging port and a little removable tray there as well. But really, when it comes down to it, as far as the interior quality goes, it's really all about the attention to detail with the Palisade, for example. All the little knobs that you can turn, they all have a nice little unique design to them, kind of a texturized design, and that ties in also with the aluminum handle for the passenger side glove box. That unique design is on that as well. Of course, you have the diamond pattern quilted leather found on the doors. That is also on the upper portion of the seats. That definitely looks nice there. Overall, it's just a very high-end feel and look to the interior of the Palisade, and especially this calligraphy trim level that we have here today. So very nice interior quality on the Palisade, I will say that. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the tech display front and center. 8 inch color touchscreen display coming with the SE and SEL trims, 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display coming with the limited and calligraphy. Either way, though, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming, and you still get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. Even with the SE, I love that the Palisade offers that because that, of course, gives you free navigation display up on that display. So you don't even have to get the factory navigation if you didn't want it. And by the way, factory navigation does come standard on the 10 and a quarter inch screen screen only but again you don't need it as long as you have a smartphone so that's always there for you. You can of course check out your climate control settings up there as well. Then you can also access that quiet mode up here that driver talk system as well and you can adjust the ambient lighting up here and even better one of the coolest things I always like on Hyundai's lately they've been doing this there's a little icon labeled sounds of nature and so with that you can choose lively forest calm sea waves rainy day open air cafe and warm fireplace and so I'm going to leave it on lively forest but I didn't want to play all these for you guys just so you can hear them I think it's so freaking cool the Hyundai put it on there I know it's just a simple thing but it's different so let me let you guys listen to that real quick And so, but then in addition to that, of course, you could check out your radio settings up on that tech display. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will get six speakers with the SE and SEL. Then with the limited and calligraphy, you're gonna get a 12 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 630 watts. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Well, more than enough base you would need in a three row SUV. I will say that, but clarity was definitely on point. Plenty of wattage, plenty of loudness. That is really overkill of a sound system for the Palisade, but I absolutely love it, of course. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is, of course, when you do put the Palisade in reverse, you will find a rear view camera across the board, surround view monitor coming with the limited and calligraphy, letting you know what is everywhere around you, an aerial view, if you will. So you don't go running anything or anyone over, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the Hyundai Palisade is an IIHS top safety pick. That's always a good start. Front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. In addition to that, a driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks back there, tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard across the board, rear parking sensor, 